And we were doing a procedure that uh, was actually over 100 years old. And uh, the procedure was actually using another piece of tissue to create the organ. And this was being done in older patients who had a very limited life expectancy. And we knew that putting those tissues in there was a problem. You know, it was problematic. You know, your yeah. tissues in your body, uh, you know, your, your stomach doesn't want mix, to get mixed up with your, uh, with your heart, you know. I mean, the, right. the, the tissues are totally separate. So when you're trying to use one tissue uh, from one part to the other, your body doesn't really like that. If you're doing that in older patients, that's okay. But I'm actually a pediatric uh, uh, surgeon, and, and all of a sudden we were doing this on young babies who had a 70, 80-year life expectancy. And, you knew, and we knew we had no better choice. You know, that was it. That was the best choice we had. So the concept was very simple. Can we actually make the organs outside the body? And uh, the first challenge was just getting the cells to grow. And, uh, and that was really a major challenge because, uh, in fact, back then the dogma was that you couldn't get those cells to grow outside the body. Sure. And so it actually starts by taking a small piece of uh, the tissue from a patient. Let's say that you're going to replace a specific organ like, the, um, like this, the esophagus, the tube that connects the mouth to your stomach. You would take a very small piece of that tissue, a uh, very small piece, less than half the size of a postage stamp. You would then tease away the cells, and you would grow and expand those cells outside the body in large quantities. And that's actually one of the challenges, many challenges in doing this. But once you actually are able to grow the cells in large quantities, then you can actually start making your organ by taking a scaffold, a piece of material that looks like your blouse or your shirt. And what you do is you actually shape that piece of material into the shape of the organ. And then you start painting the cells onto the, onto the material. And it's very much like baking a layered cake, if you will. You know, you just uh, do it one, one layer of cells at a time. Uh, and then you place those cells on that material, that tubular material, and you place this in an oven-like device. And then approximately, um, you know, uh, two weeks later, you can actually take that, that organ out and implant it back into the patient. That's really, that's really the, the strategy and how it works.